eastern Colorado and it's going to be really cool hunting around here for mule deer or whitetail and this is a really unique situation. We've got this corn, it's still standing, we're here in the early season and you can spot these deer out here, they live in the standing corn and so what we're doing is we're waiting for it to get really windy and we're just walking these rows and looking down these roads a hundred yards in each direction. The spacing out here is quite a bit wider than in the Midwest, so you've got perfect walking right down these rows. And we're gonna be doing spot and stalk. We're gonna be getting right close to bedded deer. It's a really cool hunt. A couple of my friends have been out here and these guys do an awesome job for this style of hunting. So, we're just checking out some of these rows. It's gonna be an awesome day. Up close and personal, that's a guarantee. You're gonna to have to be within one row, within 10 yards for that shot. Pretty freaking pumped, it's gonna be exciting. from that buck and with this corn blowing, they have no idea. Day five here in Colorado. We tried hunting corn quite a bit, but as you can tell right now, it's dead calm. And it's been impossible to try to stalk through the corn with no wind, super rare, but that's what we're being dealt. So we're out here just glassing these huge prairies trying to find muleys. There's two does over there and a couple smaller bucks down in this corner. We're just trying to see what pops up. And the name of the game today is going to be watch stuff until it beds down. Hope that we get wind midday and then do a stalk. So we're using these haystacks out here as just a vantage point. Climbed up here, got a thermos of coffee. Got some 18s, and we're just glassing everything. Seen a couple muleys, couple antelope. Looks like there's a new muley that just came over a rise here, so we're just gonna give this an hour or so and let things develop and see what our best play is. We've got our muley that we've been looking for. We got them bedded. 160 yards we've been looking at the weather forecast there's supposed to be about a 10 mile an hour wind coming in about two hours so we've just been laying here laying down on the ground to keep our wind down and I'm gonna I'm actually taking these sneaker socks and I'm putting them on my feet first and then my socks over the top and then I'm gonna go right down to my hex layer take these pants off just so I can just slip through with my skin you can see what how thick this stuff is it's gonna be really tough you're gonna have to leave Patrick back not gonna be able to bring him in it's just too quiet and I'm just gonna try to sneak in get a good range so I know the distance and just sit down until I can see his antlers come up above this stuff and then I'm gonna see I'll wait for his rack to turn away and I'll try to draw back and race up and see if I can get a shot. Thank <laughs> you. 
University today. It's 10, 10, 10, October 10th, 2010. It was the foundation of Knock On. I'm out here muley hunting and just shot a buck of a lifetime. Bro! Yes! Oh my gosh! On my knees, in my hex. Literally on my knees, in my hex. Got all the way to 27 yards. Stood up facing me, I just held as still as I could. And as soon as he turned, I just rose up, saw that whole body, and just perfect double lung shot. <laughs> yeah, buddy. I gotta get Patrick on here. It's my buddy Patrick. I met him at the Total Archery Challenge several years ago. He's a total course veteran, and we put in some hard, hard miles for Muleys in Utah with no luck. Came out here, it's the last day of our hunt. But man, what an awesome, awesome feat. Dude, thanks so much. That was awesome. Oh gosh, I can't wait to see this buck. Man, oh man, what an awesome day. I brought this hat with me since 10, 10, 10. It's our anniversary today. Such an awesome day. Just the perfect way to celebrate. Had to take my pants off so I could just crawl as quiet as possible. Had my socks on and been using Crocs a lot this year just because they're so soft. I know it's funny, but I'm a believer now, especially with this stuff. Those hurt my feet, but this has just been such an awesome day. Patrick and I have earned this. We're in Colorado, Eastern Colorado, with one of my good buddies. Aaron Snyder's been trying to talk me into coming here for several years. And I came here with one of my closest friends, Wes. We want to enjoy one more Western hunt together. It's going to be crazy windy, so sorry about that. We are so freaking pumped for this deer. He's just been giving us the slip time and time again. This field is just so thick. I'm gonna walk you over to where he was. I was able to get to right about, forget now, but I thought it was just under 30 yards. And he stood up facing me, as you saw, and I was just sitting there waiting and waiting and waiting and finally he just made that turn and as he was making the turn I got my one foot under myself and I was still at full draw and then as soon as his head was the other way I just came up like that so let's go to the site we'll show you how this all worked out follow me I left Patrick behind me just for noise but I got in there he was in one position and we were actually in all this short stuff so we were pretty dang exposed if he would if he would have picked us off this one time it would have been over we had one chance to get this shot off shooting an axis just for some speed out here out west the evo ntn i've also got the two pin spot hog i've used this these last western hunts now i'm getting ready to change that over for whitetails to the five pin but let's see what we got tons of blood came right through here he's just pouring out both sides just say, oh, there he is right there. Only maybe went 40 yards. Look at that deer. Oh my goodness. Oh. Wow. What a total giant. 
has got so much character. Awesome height, wide, huge fronts. Still has a little bit of velvet. I don't think this buck has ever left this big prairie field right here. And I can tell you right now, after a decade for knock on, this buck is dedicated to all of you from the knock on nation. Without all of you, me, Sharon, Little Dud, Shades, Luna, all the employees back at headquarters, we wouldn't be where we are without you guys. And this is just, just a perfect testament to why this, everything we're doing is just meant to be. The date 10, 10, 10 was just by chance total by just by fate that that that's the day the trademark got registered we had no idea and what an awesome buck just perfect testament to the equipment we shoot everything that we talk about camo worked unbelievable sick of subalpine best camo period hex couldn't believe how close I was to three muleys bedded for hours and just everything. Stabilizer, everything we got is just so awesome. My PSE NTN's been great. This is just a freaking monster, monster Eastern Colorado muley. Here's to you, Knock On Nation. Just an awesome decade and can't wait for another one.